Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Sun with Miox Fu. And last time we found out that the mayor of Bilibin, Mr. Dr. Lord McCoy, would not let us go to Kalima, but we were like, uh, oh yeah, okay, screw that. And we came anyway. And well, we found out that this sacred tree named Tret has been divided into two people, a nice side and an evil side. Nice side is left side, evil side is the right side. No, <laughs> no. Um, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, uh, we have to go into the forest and see if we can help him. But first, I'm going to heal. I need any. Okay, there we go. Garrett, you're almost out of PP. Anyway, we found Kalima was like a, a just human trees. Humans turn into trees. <laughs> if I could speak, I'd tell them this is Kulima, village of lumberjacks! Oh. Hey, maybe we can use the inn and get some, you know, freebies. Who caused all this? Someone must have tried to cut down Tret. I don't know who's women and who's men. So, I'll just give them voices. How am I supposed to charge people for their rooms if I'm a tree? Aw. The villagers were right. I never should have tried to cut that tree down. No, I'll never see my family in Emil again. Can we use any bed? Can we use this one? No, we can't. Huh. Okay. Let's talk to this person. Oh, wait. No, it's this guy. <laughs> no, I knew. <laughs> if only I'd left town a day earlier, but this room was so comfy and I was so lazy. Ooh, a lucky metal. Nothing else. We gotta start looking up these towns so I know where all the goodies are. Because I know that there's a few goodies in Kolima that we can get right now, but I'm not sure where. I think they might be in some of these jars. No, not at all. How about this one? No. No, stop. No, stop it. Face this one. Nothing. How about this? Who's this guy? Maybe if I meditate harder, I'll turn back into a man! If I was a man right now and not a tree, I would have just cropped myself. <laughs> it's the sacred tree's curse! Why did they try to cut down Dredd? I never actually noticed that these guys were people trees. The water at my feet, huh? Hey? It's delicious! <laughs> If I can't move, then mom can't make me go to bed. <laughs> Anything? No. Oh, hey, it's a gin. I wonder how we can get to him. Let's see. Let's see if we can go into the house and see if there's a way down into those passages. I don't think I'm gonna bother with any of these other guys. Actually, I think there might be something in here. No. How about you? Soon, all of Kalima will be nothing but forest. What will happen to my treasure if I'm stuck as a tree forever? Is that the gin? I wonder what father's secret is. Dictionaries of trees and flowers. <laughs> oh, Kolima. The city of tree nerds. But yeah, we can actually get this gin now. I'm not going to bother waiting because he's kind of useful if I'm... If, I, if he's the one I think of, I'm thinking of, this guy actually is pretty useful. So we're just gonna we're just gonna cheat a little and get him now. We're not really cheating, by the way. It's just you're not supposed to be able to get him now unless you've played the game before, because you're not supposed to know that you there's a back room there until after you save Kalima and you read the father's mind and he's like, oh hey, there's a back room. But I want to get this gin now, because he will be helpful in a fight not long from now. <laughs> so let's get him. I don't think we have to fight him either, that's the best part. Nope. And let me see if I can remember who he is. He's Granite, I think. Yes, he is, okay. What this guy will do is he will boost the party's defense for, I believe, one turn. Yeah, create a mighty earthen barrier. Um, it will lessen any, dam any damage you take. Quite a bit, actually, for one turn. If I, if I am thinking of his ability right, it might just boost the defense of the party. But in any case, he's pretty useful. 
And that means, actually, we get a level 2 summon, which I will show you guys once we get back out on t into the real world. I'm not going to show it down here. Because I don't want to set it. That's all. Yeah, whatever. I'll do it now. Do it now! <laughs> yeah, see, he'll do this. Protective aura encircles Isaac Garrett Niven! Oh, this is gonna be a waste. This is gonna be such a waste of a summon. I'm gonna be using it on one guy. Oh, I can't even use it on that guy. I didn't even set it. Uh, defend, defend. That would have been really funny if he killed him. Alright, so might as well just show him off. You can summon Ramses! And this is our first off screen summon. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You summon a mechanical pyramid sphinx thing to just kick the crap out of that guy. It's, it's awesome. Like, that's, that's the level of summons that we are going to get. Uh, and they get just they just get cooler from there. Uh, I can't even think of what my favorite one is. Well, I can't even tell you either because that would be that would be spoiling. Ocean blur. <laughs> All right, so here is Colima Forest, and we will be making our way to Tret, a mystical tree. Whoop! You didn't see anything, right? 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 Uh, so this is actually kind of supposed to be kind of a puzzle. It's not really that, well, getting through the forest is supposed to kind of be a puzzle, but it's not really. It's kind of easy. Um, I think you can go to Emil before this. Um, you know how in Bilibin they were saying that there was a party of people that went north. I think you can do that before you go to Kalima Forest. I'm not sure, but I always do Kalima Forest first because it's a great way to get get levels, uh, make sure that you are actually prepared, and I prefer that over getting a new part. Well, I already I already spoiled it. Over getting a new party member and stuff like that. We will be getting a new party member, don't worry. It's I mean, it's an RPG. It's a standard RPG. We're gonna have four party members. That's not that surprising. Um, other than that, I won't say anything else. <laughs> Ooh, we got Spire. That's gonna be kind of handy, actually. Uh, Spire is a single uh, target attack that does a heap ton of damage to that single target and it's gonna be pretty useful against bosses actually I can show it off right now watch this boom 43 damage that is not bad that's like flint amount of damage but no I am also just in a great mood today uh, despite my having Wait a minute, which way do we... Oh, never mind. I, <laughs> I, I, some of these puzzles I can never remember which, which which part you're going to do first, and then some of them I'm just not going to spend any time figuring out. And my mind's just going to be like, oh, just go here and do this. This is one example. There's a log back here which tricks you into thinking you need to push it and everything. I think it's so you can get that nut. Actually, I think we can get that right now. Yes, we can. There's a log that down there that tricks you into thinking you need to move it, but if you just go to the back, you can move logs and get past pretty quickly, which I just did without even thinking about it. Um, but no, I'm in a great mood because besides just like coming home, sitting down, and going to record such a great game and just having loads of time to record it, I actually... Um, some of you know that I'm in co contemporary Irish literature this semester for one of my classes. It's actually what I've been building my entire semester around. Ooh, Flare Wall. That's another good one. It's basically a more powerful flare. I think it also targets three, three targets, so. But we just read McDonough, and for those of you that don't know, this guy, Mitchell McDonough, is... Actually, let's see if 
Yeah, Flare Wall's still three. Uh, Mitchell McDonough is a... Well, he's, he's English-born, I think. I wasn't really sure based on the class. But he had parents from Connemara, which is the western rural part of Ireland, who were immigrants to England. And, well, he grew up as one of those really weird classes of Irish that are kind of not that are kind of frowned upon by Ireland just because they're not really seen as successful because they're in London. They didn't go for, as far as Canada or the United States. But, um... And when he was 15, his parents decided to go back to Ireland. And him and his brother, who was 18, decided, hell no, we want to stay here because they hated Ireland because of Western Ireland. They saw it as boring because it's all rural as opposed to the cosmopolitan London where they were living and what they, so they stayed in London um, and what they basically ended up doing is they spent two years living on welfare in London just sitting around and watching TV until they went off and got jobs um, McDonough actually became unemployed and for fear of poverty fear of having a boss and just having nothing to do he wrote I think it was like six plays within the course of a couple of weeks and ha and became hugely successful because he just drew on all of his <laughs> all of his experience watching just shows for two years straight <laughs> and his plays are absolutely amazing I love them so much <laughs> Um, I just ended up, we had to wa read, uh, The Beauty Queen of Lanan, Linan, I don't know how it's really pronounced, uh, for my class, and it was fantastic. <laughs> it was offensive, it was, uh, vulgar, it was just amazing. Oh, I think I screwed this up already, because what we're trying to do is actually get to that chest up there. Um, and as you saw, we have the floodgate switch to let, raise and lower the logs. Um, oh, no, I didn't screw it up. What we need to do is push this guy down first and foremost. Push this guy back and push that last guy down. But, like, um, I've, I, I just sat in thrall and read his two other play, plays from the, his Kronomara trilogy today uh skull in Connemara, which is about a guy who every fall um what is it called exhumes corpses and crushes their skeletons so that new um from graveyards so that new people can be buried and it's about whether he murdered his wife or not three years ago because he has to and we got a fur coat which is one of the our first rare armor i think and it is so good. Let's actually see how much defense everybody else has. Uh, give. 47, 40... F oh, I'm going to give it to Ivan, actually. Because we don't want him to die. Because I don't think there's any back row or anything, so... Yeah, no, there's no back row. As far as I know. If there is a back row, tell me, because I've never found it. Um... But when he, he, the story revolves around him having to exhume his deceased wife's corpse, and when he goes to do it, it's missing. And that's like half the story right there. <laughs> um, that's pretty much what the story is about. I mean, and his reactions to finding out who took the corpse, and, or who took the skeleton and whatnot. I don't know, it was just really good. It's really, it's hyper-violent portrayal of rural Ireland. And un none of it's true. It's like, like, he's got almost a William Faulkner type fictional town. Even though Lenan is a real place, I believe. Uh, all of his 
he's he's just built this town around a bunch of fictional characters that all have their own histories and everything. And that's something I can really admire about an artist when they can just have that amount of in-depth imagination. All right. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I was able to talk uh, McDonough over that entire puzzle because I was wondering what I was going to say when I was first doing the when I was first doing my practice run. Anyway, who are you? The healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Tret, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. Who are you? Oh, you are the ones who resisted Tret's glamour. I already forgot your voice. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Tret, you are already too late. Soon Tret will die, and we shall wither away without him. I'm so happy about it. Leave now before this forest is destroyed. Never! I need to fight the evil Tret. Dot! 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 No, that's the good Tret, at least. <laughs> he will not speak to you, child! <laughs> I control all in Tret's realm. Oh, he won't even mind read us. No, that stinks. Ah! A troll! Ah! Die, troll! Take that! Ow. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark, you troll. There we go. Not bad. Right, so... Well, let's climb up first. So what we're going to be doing next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio Fu is we will be going through the depths of Tret. Now what we've got to do is we've got to fall through that hole so that we can face the evil Tret. But I'm not seeing any way to get there, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio Fu, and we will figure out this mystery. Ooh. Right, guys. Take it easy.